All right, welcome back to more of Essie Knuckles' Worst Nightmare. So we're going to be starting off level 5. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be beating this all in one go. Ooh, we got Dark Nuts, uh, the blue Dark Nuts. one of the items in here. Alright, so luckily you don't have to throw these chest knights around. I mean, that was just random and more annoying than anything. Uh, here you just have to push them. And you kind of have to keep them on the Chuckerboard. Probably the left one is the more difficult one. I mean, the one on the right, you don't have to worry about traps or anything. interesting because you got the uh, the green whiz robes. I think that can only be taken out with uh, I think bombs or arrows. It's similar to the one in uh, Link's Awakening. It's just what I mentioned. That's just literally what I mentioned just a matter of seconds ago. These stairs you're gonna have to keep a mental note of for later because, uh, yeah, you need the other item to explore that passage. And you know what? I'm just gonna save myself some time. I'm gonna go back to the start anyway. Ah, oh, blue wizard robes. Infamous blue wizard robe. Now, luckily, I think the hook shot actually stuns the wiz the blue wizards pretty reliably. Not like the one that if you if you're too close, it's gonna do some minor damage. You know, this one I think is just gonna st stun it right away. I might as well get rid of as much stuff as I can from behind the the blocks here. And I forgot I need another key actually.
totally didn't realize I needed another key for that room. It's not too difficult, just kind of more annoying than anything. I didn't even bother going up here. At least you take a look up here first. I don't think you're safe on the edges here. It's not like a lot of other quests that you actually are safe. I can use the blue bubble for a uh, shield. that get some invincibility frames. I mean, pick up the compass. Kind of wait until you get into that room. It's gonna be a real pain to get through this. So why not just get rid of as much stuff as I can? You know, make my life easier when I actually have to go through that room. Just leave one enemy behind. This time I should be able to take the wall master back. Now that I have a, a second key, I forgot that I needed two keys for this room. to the boss. I go this way first. Alright, this room. Get rid of the wall masters first. A little bit of a kind of a block pushing puzzle. Like you only can push these once.
All right, so we get the hammer. That's fine, we'll just take the wall master back. I mean, I gotta go back through this way anyway, so... Pretty much, uh, no loss of time there. Okay, and this thing, I think, is... Magic Sword Strength. And I think the map of this place is supposed to be, uh, a rope. Make another trip through this room. We can actually go up this way. I might as well use the uh, the hammer post here to my advantage and use this for some safety. Shields. Nice little bonus there. Yeah, a lot easier when there's only one wizard to deal with. But luckily, I don't think you can fall down the holes. There's just more obstacles. I'm oh, just scooping up more money. using bombs. Bombs seem to be easier to get refills on. Although if I get five arrow drops, I mean, that's fine. Ooh, there's a, there's a little trickier. And just uh, rush him with the hammer. Be a little ugly. Uh, luckily, the hook shot seems to stun wizards again very reliably. Doesn't need a. You don't need to be 
far away from the Wizard Orb, you can stun it at any distance you want. I mean, that's gonna have to be a good substitute for, you know, you don't have Fire Boomerang yet or anything. scoop of more cash. And there's only one way you can go. You can't go the other way because you notice the spikes uh, there that they don't seem to fully go down. Easiest just to clean out this room first before you do anything. Okay, so you have to get the chest knight all the way through this maze. Good thing this thing pushes fast. I mean, imagine like the regular blocks, you have to wait a moment before you can actually push it. Make, that would make this take a lot longer. Alright, uh, Rock's Feather. And yeah, you need that to cross some of the spikes here. Favorite item in... Probably my favorite item in ZC. It's so flexible. Gives you a kind of evasion properties because uh, I don't think you can get hit in midair. Now, how the jumping works here, I think you only jump one space. Maybe two if you're lucky. Kind of interesting jumping there. Okay, uh, let's see. I just have to go back to the room with all this. Now that we have the feather. And might as well get some more money out of these jars. A bunch of fives there. This is what you need the feather for, because you can't just walk across this. And 
and good thing you're right next to where you need to use this key. So if you go down here, you got an interesting little 2D side scroller. Where you need the feather, and uh, yeah, these are kind of level three bats. These are kind of more annoying to deal with. Way to put the uh, the feather to use. Now the boss, I'm not gonna battle yet. I'm actually gonna go get some more stuff to make this easier. Because the boss can be kind of nasty. Just keep using wall masters to get back to the start. Because you know, the boss is pretty much to the left here. But again, I'm not going to go through that yet because uh, that's a fairly tough battle at you know, where we're currently at in equipment. It's kind of a gimmick to that boss. Uh, get some better equipment, it's going to kind of remove that gimmick to an extent. this little cave. Yeah, this is actually pretty difficult to do without the feather. You can do it without the feather, but you're probably gonna take a few hits because the traps are kind of hard to avoid in these tight spaces. I mean, this one's even worse here. I you still have to dodge this thing. Without the feather. Having the feather makes this a lot easier. I'm not gonna have to find something to spend money on because I'm almost capped again. I 
might have to pick him that up. Uh, actually, for this one, actually the best place to go is level three, actually. pretty close to where, where I need to go. Alright, so down here, um, this one, the ladder doesn't work. So... You can't just use the ladder to cross that. This one, you actually have to jump across the hole. Jump over this. Alright, into... This is the level 6 area. Oh, yeah, yoy. Yeah, this place starts getting nasty. Oh, I got the... Blue P hats, and uh, I think they do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think I need a better weapon, like now. Let's take that many hits to take out the Blue Lionel. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of work in the level 6 area. Go on, caves. So going up here, it's gonna take you into another little cave. Uh, there's like trouble, I believe. And you got two Gomas to fight. First of all, get some space for yourself. Yeah, this might take a while to take them out. But I mean, it's a take with a blue brain. Probably can't get more than two hits at a time. Oh, it's not that difficult. You just have to go around the room a little bit. They kind of fire it together, so it makes dodging pretty, pretty easy. Okay, I think one of them just went down. And there we go. Okay, so here we got the spike gauntlet. Uh, this is your magic sword. Uh, luckily, there's no heart requirements. Yeah, those are... Again, those are troubles, and you need a... Level 3 glove isn't enough. Yeah, you actually have to use a spin attack to knock him out.
Blue Lionel's enough down to three. Some of this screen because I'm gonna have to come back here uh, later on anyway. Okay, so this is kind of on the way to level six actually. So, uh, I'm probably going to start going through at least part of level 6. And uh, probably try to spend some money because I'm capped right now. Uh, so next part, we'll take a look inside this Goron cave. Alright, see you guys later.